Hello everyone. As the name of the video suggests I am talking the similarities found between our ancient history books and comparing it to a black hole. According to our history or Purana there were sages who were powerful enough to travel to heaven and return. They traveled at the speed of thought so it means that we could technically go to heaven if we go as fast as speed of thought. Now a black hole does not allow even light to escape. So if we want to enter and exit a black hole we would need to travel at speed of thought. According to a Purana after we die Yama pulls the soul of dead person to heaven. But how can he? We cannot travel at speed of thought or can we? As we do not have a body we would only have soul or mind. Mind does not have any mass or weight or does not react to anything. We can think to go from earth to moon in an instant but we cannot do it because a body is preventing us because it has mass. If there is no body there is no mass so nothing could stop us. Thus we should technically be able to travel at speed of thought after death. So Yama will pull us at speed of thought to heaven or hell. But we cannot escape it because gods are higher beings and just like how a person can be locked up in a jail even soul can be locked up in heaven or hell. If the sages could do it why couldn't we? This is because sages were the ones who sacrificed everything and devoted their whole life to worship it. Thus God became happy and granted them knowledge about all the told and untold truths all the secrets and all kinds of other information. They were so powerful a sage made a copy of every existing thing in the universe even the heaven and hell out of anger. Now in a black hole there is a place called event horizon. If a person enters that place time will appear to slow down for that person. One day for a person inside a black hole may be millions or even billions of years. According to our Purana one yuga cycle is 4,320,000 years. One day for Brahma is equal to 1,000 yugas. Brahma is the god of knowledge. He writes in his book about everything which happened in past is now happening and also which will happen in the future. According to Vedic texts Brahma's current age is 50 Brahma years. To remember one day of Brahma's life is 4,320,000,000 years. So they possibly live in a place which has gravity as much as a even more than black hole which slows down time. Any event in space can be survived if we do not have a physical body. Even traveling to a parallel universe. There is a story related to this. One day Lord Brahma, the creator of the universe, wished to meet Lord Vishnu, the Lord who resides in every atom and in every universe as the maintainer. Lord Brahma stood at the glittering gates of Vakuntha, the grand personal quarters of Lord Vishnu. The guards on duty asked him to wait for a brief moment as they announced his visit to their lord. They were back very quickly and said, Lord Vishnu asked, which Brahma has come? Lord Brahma was taken aback with the question. Which Brahma? He said with mounting indignation, which Brahma? Tell him the four-headed Brahma has come. The guards went back inside to deliver the answer and soon invited Lord Brahma to come in. As soon as he entered the inner quarters, Lord Brahma was shocked to see a most unexpected sight. Inside the chamber there were many other Brahmas, one with 8 heads, another with a 100 heads, another with a 1000 heads and even one with 10,000 heads. They had also come to visit Lord Vishnu. The four-headed Lord Brahma felt utterly humbled to see so many other Brahmas. He always felt he was the unique and most powerful creator of the universe. He had thought his four heads showed how clever he was. He hadn't realized there were so many other universes even larger than his, created by even more powerful Brahmas. With a new sense of humility, respect and appreciation, he bowed and conducted his visit. This story tells us that there might be parallel universes which are way bigger than our universe. I don't know properly about anything so if there is any mistake I would like you to correct me and please comment your opinion. Thank you.